wanna talk about is a historical fiction novel and it is The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. This is a retelling of the Iliad from the perspective of the women. I've heard nothing but remarkable things about the storytelling ability, the world building, all of that fun stuff. So I am excited to get into this. Next on my list is a nonfiction title by none other than Roxane Gay and it is called Hunger. Hunger is the memoir of Roxane Gay, who is a very beloved queer black writer. It tells the story of why and how Roxane Gay became to be over 600 pounds. This is about a very decadent world in New Orleans where beauty is power, and the more beautiful you are, the more powerful you are. I've heard really great things about the world building in this series. Apparently, in this world, you are born gray, and only with the help of a bell can you be transformed into something beautiful. The sequel to this comes out in March, and I was actually lucky enough to win it in a giveaway. The sequel is called Everlasting Rose and I'm going to be reading this for Blackathon next month. I'm really pumped to get into the first book this month so that I can let you guys know what I think of the second book next month. This tells the story of a family who goes camping and the father and the adolescent son go missing. 10 years later, the adolescent son pops up as a very disturbed adult who has issues with speech. So then he is assigned to a very talented speech therapist. What is her name? A very talented speech therapist named Maya. However, Maya, of course, has her own secret past and is haunted by her own darknesses. But Maya is doing her best to help this young man and to find out what happened to his father, to find out what happened to him, where he's been for the last 10 years. Then I have The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. This was sent to me by Booksparks. It comes out on January 15th and it is a complex historical fantasy taking place in 1889 Paris. Severin is our protagonist and he is a wealthy hotel owner by day and a treasure hunter by night. When he is commissioned by the powerful Order of Babel to locate a secret and ancient artifact, he knows that he's gonna need some help. So he bands up with the most talented team that he can come up with. He has an engineer, one of his best and closest, most trusted friends, a dancer, a historian. If he and his team are able to locate it, they will have power and money beyond their wildest dreams. But of course, nothing is as it seems. There there is a lot of danger along the way and all of their lives are at stake. I have heard nothing, nothing short of high praise for this book and it came out two years ago. It's got like 44,000 reviews on Goodreads and it still has a rating of 4.4 which is amazing. So this book is a collection of short stories all by black young authors. And it's a very intersectional tale. It talks about being black and queer, black and trans, all of these different ways that a person can be Afro-American or from the African diaspora. This book takes place in 1847, Edinburgh, and it follows three characters. The first character is Dr. Simpson, who is based off of the real Dr. Simpson, who is accredited with the discovery of chloroform. He decides to enlist Will Raven as his apprentice. Will is a young, also intelligent, very talented doctor who moves into Dr. Simpson's house in order to become the best that he can be. The book also features Sarah, who is Dr. Simpson's housekeeper. Sarah and Will immediately have a disliking to each other. However, the three of them have to put their differences aside when women start turning up gruesomely murdered all around the city of Edinburgh. I'm going to be reading the Polar Express this month as well. And then the last book that I'm gonna be reading for January is Once Ghosted, Twice Shy. I believe it's by Alicia Cole. Last on my TBR are three comic series that I have been dying to either start or finish. The first one is one that I haven't started and it is Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughn. What I know about this comic series is that it is a mystery and that these young paper route girls find something that they shouldn't find and then their lives are in danger as a result. I know that there is some heavy fantastical elements to this story, which I'm excited about. And Brian K. Vaughn always delivers on the fantasy, so I'm ready. Superb is published by Catalyst Prime, which is one of the most underrated comic studios that we have on the market right now. It tells the story of Kayla and Jonah, who are two high school students living in a world where mutant children are not allowed. Every day they go into school and they pass these scanners and the scanners will tell the security guards that are waiting around whether or not a child has developed into a mutant. If the scanner goes off, that means that that child is taken away out of school, away from their family, 
put in a lab somewhere and experimented on never to be seen again. People in this world are very afraid of what mutant children are capable of and that is why they kind of keep their head down and allow this to happen. Kayla, our black female protagonist, is okay with this because she is very, very rigidly supportive of the law and she cares a lot about this idea of public safety. Her best friend Jonah, however, is not on board with this practice. And when I started reading this book, I was really intrigued by the way that Jonah was drawn. Jonah looks different than every other character in this book. And I was just wondering if that was an accident or if it was on purpose. And then once you once you read further on into the comic series, you find out that Jonah actually has Down syndrome. And what's awesome about Jonah's character is that Kayla doesn't know that he is a superhero. Kayla finds out pretty early on in the series that her best friend is fighting crime and, and she's incredibly against it. And then while she's trying to stop him, she finds out that she has the ability of superhuman strength. The next and final comic I have is published by Image Comics, which is my favorite publisher, and that is none other than Copperhead. I love me a space western, I love me a space opera, and that's exactly what this comic is. Clara Bronson is a badass cop and she moves to a grimy mining town called Copperhead and becomes their new sheriff. There's certainly more to the comic book than that. I remember loving the art. I love the character dynamics and dialogue and I just want to get back into it. I think we're up to volume four or five at this point. I read up to volume two and I'm just going to start over from the beginning. I love this character. I think Claire is fucking amazing and if you like yourself a muscular badass redhead woman then this is the comic for you. And also did I mention space? 